Welcome to Living Life. The past years have shown us that we are not totally in control of our lives. Sometimes we have this false belief that we are the masters of our own lives, that we control every aspect, that if we just work a little harder, that if we just have a little bit more money, that if we just sleep a little less, everything will go our way. But the past couple of years have shown that we are at the whim of our outside forces, that we are at the whim of the greater powers that may be. What this passage reminds us, and really the story of Joseph reminds us, is that we are not totally, completely in control of our lives. But Joseph does point to a greater power, someone who is in control of every aspect of our life and someone who we can trust and put our hope in so that our souls may at peace. The story of Joseph is really about the person of Jesus Christ and how we can trust in him for our well-being and for our soul. Genesis chapter 41 verses 37 through 45. The plan seemed good to Pharaoh and to all his officials. So Pharaoh asked them, Can we find anyone like this man, one in whom is the Spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so discerning and wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace, and all my people are to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He had him ride in a chariot as his second in command and people shouted before him, Make way! Thus he put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh. But without your word, no one will lift hand or foot in all Egypt. Pharaoh gave Joseph the name Zaphonath paneah and gave him Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, to be his wife. And Joseph went throughout the land of Egypt. Today, in this passage, we see the story of Joseph. And this story is about Joseph being invited into Pharaoh's court to not only be a part of his court, but to really take control over the whole nation of Egypt. The reason Pharaoh picks Joseph is because Joseph is filled with the Spirit. He has attributes and characters that make him so attractive that Pharaoh cannot ignore the great quality that Joseph possesses. And in doing so, Pharaoh hands over all the power to Joseph. He finds him trustworthy and finds him able to take care of his whole entire kingdom. We might be tempted to think that this story is about us, that if we just act a little bit holier, if we just do a little bit more, we might be given great power. But that is not what this passage is about. What this passage is ultimately is about Jesus. See, Joseph is pointing to Jesus. Jesus is the greater Joseph. Jesus is the true king who is imbued with the Holy Spirit and is able to do all things. For God is the true great power and he hands everything over to Jesus so that Jesus has complete control. In the New Testament, we learn that Jesus is the author of creation, and in Him all of creation is held, and in Him all things point to Jesus. You see, Jesus is fully in control. And what we are to be reminded of is that Jesus is the only one who has complete control. That in times of turmoil, in times where we feel lost and we feel that we're not in control of our own lives, Jesus invites us to put our trust and rest in Him. 
This is my hope and prayer for you today, is to not put the trust in yourself, but to put your hope and faith in Jesus. For some of you, you may be going through a very difficult time. And for some of you, you may just be lost. And I'm here to tell you, that's okay. That's a normal reaction. What you need to do now is to turn to Jesus and pray to him and say, Jesus, you are the greater Joseph. The whole kingdom listens to you. Help me put my trust in you. That is the point of this message. That is my hope and prayer for you. So let us remember, Jesus is the greater Joseph. God has sought it fit to give this world over to his son, Jesus Christ. We have a great mediator in who is control over everything. We can put our hope and trust in him. There is no reason to fear your day. There is, to ha there is no reason to have any fear at all. Perfect love casts out fear. And in Jesus, we have the perfect love. My prayer for you today is this. Rely on Jesus. Believe in Him. Believe in Him and give peace to your soul. May God bless your day today. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that he is your son. We thank you that he is filled with the spirit. And we thank you that he is in control of everything. I pray for those listening to this word today, that they would put their hope and trust in you. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your guidance. May you continue to give us peace and love. And may we put our trust in you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.